changing the stereo in the Ford Focus and I broke the defrost control. You can actually see you can see the cable was sticking out over here. So I gotta get one of those and the outside door handle on the driver's door is busted. They're both cheap to do, just a little time consuming to change out. But I am going to change the stereo and get the stereo installed in the sub and amp. My daughter did want an e-player, but I do have an external DVD player I can put in here to play CDs if I need to. Working on this stereo for the car. I got the DVD player mounted to the stereo. Just running wires, RCA, amp remote wire. Need to go up with the stereo so it lines up in here. Got power to everything. I'll show the stereo after. I just gotta pull it out and adjust it up some. See if I can get a little more gap between here and here so I can run the plate on here and cover up this and this area. The bracket's off to one side, so it's off to one side, but I don't care. It'll look okay once I get some plates in there and cover it up. Get this, get the bezel fitting properly around it. I got these bolts out. They're a T40 so the Torx bit. They come out of right here. So apparently these seats hinge forwards. Got it vacuumed a lot better. It would be nice to scrub it but we're still getting cold weather at night. So I don't think it would dry in here. I can bring the seat bottom into the house and it'll dry in there if I go and wash it. Put the ground cable into the seat bracket or the seat belt bolt. It's ran into the back. Got everything working but the radio because the Ford uses a weird connector for the radio. Sub's all hooked up. Sub's all hooked up. Amp is coming on. Just gotta tidy up the wires. Mount this amp to it. I'm not sure if my amp's too small for that sub, but I might put one of my other tens in. It. <laughs>